Hello and welcome or welcome back. Guys, one of the very most common questions I get on this channel is how do I get over my declutter overwhelm? I want to declutter, I want to minimize and simplify, but I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm here to help. Today I want to give you several steps that you can implement to help you declutter a, in no time, and B, without making a big mess and stressing yourself out. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The very, very, very first thing you're gonna do is pick an area of your home that's only gonna take you about 20 minutes. Now, this could be a corner in your closet or a section of the pantry or two drawers in your dresser. It is not gonna be an entire zone. This is just a small area. I've got a few things in my bedroom closet right now that are just bugging me. Things are a little disorganized. I'm gonna see what I can do in 20 minutes in there, but seriously, set your timer. Do not overwhelm yourself by thinking this is gonna take hours or all day. 20 minutes is all you need. So go ahead and pick your area, set your timer for 20 20 minutes and you're ready for the next step. For step two, you're actually just gonna set up a really, really simple system and that is labels. You can use sticky notes, you can use uh, white copy paper, which is what I use today, notebook paper, whatever you have. But the labels are important because they keep you organized and they keep you from getting like flustered because it's really clear where you should put everything. So I have set up my labels here along the wall and here's what you're gonna write on them. You're gonna need a keep, a donate, a relocate, and a trash label. So those are the four that I suggest having. And then I know a lot of people like to use really beautiful pre-labeled baskets and bins. I'm not that fancy. I'm just gonna use whatever I have laying around the house to set up my system. But underneath each label, you're gonna need a bin. And it could even be a bag. It does not matter. The main thing is that you're kind of containing the mess because big piles trust me I know from experience are really really overwhelming and they make you want to quit before you even start <laughs> because you're just thinking in this huge pile they're really hard to get out of too so you don't want to feel like you're getting yourself into something that you're not going to be able to get out of really really quickly so set up your system your labels along with your boxes um, or bags that you're using and then you are ready to get going on to the next step. At this point, you're just gonna start categorizing everything. I actually had a ton of stuff in my relocate bin. So next time I do this, I will make sure I have a bigger um, bin for that. But I just went ahead and put everything where I felt it belonged. I didn't have too much trash, but that is not always the case. That just happened on this particular project. But just take as few minutes as possible and get that done. Now I know it can be really hard to decide what to keep and what to donate, but my general rule of thumb, if it's something that I am currently using or absolutely love, then I go ahead and keep it. But a couple good questions to ask yourself are, if I saw this in the store today, would I buy it? I love that one. And then do I have something else that serves the same or similar purpose. And if you have duplicates, that's kind of an automatic one for me. I know I can just let the one that I like least go. Just keep your favorite. Try and make decisions fast without thinking too much about them. And if you're not sure, just go ahead and put them on the bed or maybe you have a maybe pile that you're gonna make in addition to this, but try not to put too many items in it because it can really slow your progress. Here is what I have after about 10 minutes of going through everything. This is my keep bin. This is my relocate bin, which I have a lot more to relocate than I realized. And it's all those little clothes that I dumped out at first that are taking up a huge amount of space, but that's okay. <laughs> everything is still contained. I really didn't find that much trash, which is awesome. And then here is my donate bin. So I have a couple little things that I didn't end up giving the kids for Halloween because they already had them. So no need to have two. And then a little basket that's broken, some extra hangers, and then some decor that I'm not using at all. And in fact, I don't think I'm gonna use them 
in the new house when we end up moving in a few weeks either. So I'm just gonna pass those on, but here's what we have. So let me tell you what you're gonna do next. All right, so at this point, just get things out. So take out the garbage, which I don't have too much, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the trash section of my decluttering project and then take care of your donate bin. So I'm gonna go ahead, in fact, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my donate things into the garbage bag that I didn't really end up needing. And then I'm gonna take those directly to my donation spot, which is the back of my car. And I highly recommend this because it keeps you from like picking through things again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer everything into this bag and then get the bag out of my house. Next, I'm gonna go through my keep pile right here and I'm gonna save the relocate for last. So I'm just gonna go through these and set them nicely back into my closet. And then I'm gonna organize as best I can as I go. I didn't buy any extra organization solutions. I'm just gonna put these back in nicely and in a good order. I had a couple of these boxes that I actually really, really like because they have lids. I'm the type of organizer that just doesn't like to see what's inside the bin. I would much rather have it closed up and then put a label on it. Um, so these boxes work really well for me. As you see, I'm not touching my husband's side of the closet at all. So he does like those clear bins and he has one right here but I'm not gonna worry about his stuff. He can get to that whenever he has time. Maybe you guys can help me. I do not know where to put these super pretty, they're kind of silky hair ties, so I don't want them to get ruined. Where can I keep these? I'm trying to think of a place where they'll be protected and kind of keep their shape, but I have no idea where to put them. If you have an idea of where I could keep these, will you let me know in a comment because I'm really at a loss. Here is what I was able to do just by putting the keep things back and just quickly organizing them. I have this little sewing box. Here is my makeup that's seasonal. I actually want to get a different container. That one's just too small, so I'm going to get a new one for that. And then in this one I have my purses. And then I have birthday party supplies like party bags and tissue paper. And then in here I have all my craft stuff. I do not have time to go through these clothes and switch out the hangers, but I went through my clothes recently and I know these are the ones that I want to keep. So I'm just going to leave this. If you have, like I said, a section of this project that is going to take more than 20 minutes, just ignore it. That is for a different day. So I'm going to leave the mismatched hangers for now and just kind of make a note to come back and do that because this project is not gonna be done until those are in better order. The last thing we have to do is take care of this relocate bin. I'm gonna bust this out as fast as I can. All these clothes that are taking up most of the space, I'm gonna just pop into a bag and run down to storage and that is the key. I'm gonna run it down there right now. I'm not gonna just shove it somewhere else to keep cluttering at my home, I'm gonna actually take care of it. So let's go ahead and go through this. This little drawer organizer is something that's not gonna fit in my house right now. So what I think I'm gonna do is just find a spot to kind of stash it because I wanna keep the organizer, I want the magnets, the batteries are still good. Like this is just stuff I want. So I'm gonna just find another spot for it really quickly and then see if I wanna keep it in the new house when I get there, if it will actually fit. The majority of what was in this bin are some clothes that I got secondhand for my toddler to grow into. So I am going to put those in the storage like I was saying, but that's what I have in here that was taking up all that room. <laughs> Since this part of my project is done, I'm going to pull these labels off and save them for next time. For now, I'm just gonna keep these little hair ties in a baggie in with my purses and I'll kind of just lay them flat 
and this might be a good solution for them but I don't want to forget they're in here is the thing because I want to wear them they're really cute and um, they're new and they're great for fall so for now I'll just set them in here with these purses but again please let me know if you have any other ideas this is my absolute favorite part of any decluttering project and that is just kind of stepping back and taking a look at how much you were able to get done and with this kind of project it is amazing to see the difference like just in 20 minutes it is absolutely crazy so take pictures of your before and after so you can see the progress thank you guys so much for being here today i would love it if you click subscribe if you got value from this video I make tons of videos just like this one, helping you minimize and organize your space. So I would love to have you. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.